Hello everyone welcome back to one more video, guys since last few days I'm getting complaint from my viewers, that, they are not able to access, Android and data folder in their phone, after new software updates, and whenever they go to open data folder, this problem comes in data folder, because of this they're getting fed up by trying lots of method, but none of them are working. Basically this problem is coming Android 10 to Android 16, but guys this method is going to work in all the phones, those who are facing this issue, guys the problem is not in your phone, it's Android security system in new Android phones, that they are not allowing to use Android folder to their users. But don't worry we always have second steps to overcome all the problem, so guys let's fix this problem with simple method, please watch full video, without skipping the video, but guys before that, make sure to like on this video, and if you are new, then subscribe channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification of my latest videos, so guys without wasting more time, let's get start the video. So guys before dive into the tutorial, let me show you, that this phone is also, having same problem, you can see it's showing access denied, this phone is running in Android 16, so obviously this problem is necessary, but now we will fix this problem, and after this we can access data and OBB folder without any problem. Guys first of all you all need is Shizuku application, which you can easily download from Play Store, or search in Chrome browser, after install Shizuku in your phone, open it, now we need to run this using with wireless debugging option, and guys if you are not able to access data folder, then your phone must be running on Android 11 or 16, and your phone definitely support wireless debugging option which is in developer option. Now let me show you, how to enable developer option, in your phone. First go to your phone settings, then here search for about phone, search this option according to your phone settings, because every phone has different location this option, now simply click on about phone, then click on software information, now keep tapping in build number, 8 to 9 times, then unlock your phone pattern, to enable developer option, now if you go back, you will see, that developer option has been enabled in your phone, now go back to Shizuku application, then tap in, pairing button, then here allow a small permission for wireless code notification, then go back. Now it will ask to go to, developer option, now here scroll up, little bit, and search for wireless debugging option. Here it is, guys if you tap here it will not enable, because your phone must connect to Wi-Fi network, and my phone is not connected to Wi-Fi, it's connected to data network, so let me connect Wi-Fi network first. Ok guys finally, my phone is connected with Wi-Fi network, after connecting Wi-Fi network again go back to the developer option, and then tap in wireless debugging option, and this time it will enable easily, now again tap in wireless debugging text, then tap in paired device with, pairing code, now it will show you some code, which we need to type in Shizuku app to run, when code will show, the Shizuku notification will also come to add that code, to add this code. Slide down notification panel then simply, adhere this code, then tap in send button. Now again go back to Shizuku application, then tap in start button, it will take few seconds to activate that code, and that's all, your Shizuku will start running, next what you need to do is, tap in authorized application, then here enable the Z archiver application, guys we have done our first steps, now let's go to final steps. Now go back to the home page, and from here open Z archiver application, then tap in this three dots, then tap in settings, then again tap in root option, and here change SU to Shizuku. Then enable this option to access the data, OBB, media folder, guys all process has been completed, now let's check it working or not, so let open Android and data folder, guys you can see, it's fully working, and now, not showing access denied problem, which means you are, now allowed to use all, the folder, in data and OBB folder, now you can apply your game config file without any problem, so guys this was the easy and simple method to access data folder, if you are also facing this issue and searching for tutorial video, then follow this steps, guys I hope you liked this video, and if my videos are informative, then kindly, like, share and subscribe for more amazing videos, so guys that's all for today. See you in next video, till then take care and sign in out.